All right, just coming in now, earnings from Royal Bank of Canada. Mike, you've got uh, all of the numbers here. Good morning. Yeah, they're big numbers, uh, Melanie, indeed. Uh, with the Royal Bank reporting record-breaking third quarter results, a profit of $3.1 billion. That's up 11% year over year. They've had some uh, uh, cost controls that have helped boost the bottom line. Plus, we do have a rising interest rate environment, and typically in the early stages of that cycle, uh, the banks make more money on their mortgage books specifically, at least until the housing market slows down. So under this circumstance, as the Royal Bank has also uh, reported revenue sales above forecast, they're raising their dividend by four cents or 4.3 percent to 98 cents per share. What does it mean for investors? That's the big question as the RBC this year has seen its stock price hold at about $102 per share. It's flat for 2018. Over the past 12 months, it is up by about 15%. RBC kicking off the third quarter earnings season this morning. It'll be followed tomorrow by the CIBC and the next week, the other big Canadian banks. This is an historic day coming up for Wall Street. The longest bull market in history will be marked today by the S&P 500 at 3,453 days since the last time we have seen a drop of 20% from the peak for the S&P 500, dating back to the March 9th, 2009 low post-economic recession. Back then, the S&P was down around 797. Uh, this morning, it is close to 3,000. You've tripled your money on Wall Street, up 87% on the TSX over that same time frame. And uh, the S&P 500, incidentally, yesterday hit an intraday record high. Deal or no deal? The U.S. says it is close to a NAFTA agreement with Mexico. Mexico says not so much. The two sides expected to talk again today, and maybe we'll have something to announce tomorrow. But the key sticking point remains the auto sector, and then likely Canada would be bring, brought into the mix. The U.S. has sort of kept Canada on the sidelines, again, with the auto sector front and center. The U.S. also rationing up the tariffs against Canada, this time putting tariffs on large diameter welded pipe exported from Canada, that on five other countries as well, as the escalating trade tensions continue. Uh, started by the Trump administration. And no slowing down the pot stocks on Bay Street. More records for that particular component of the market yesterday as Aurora Cannabis, Afria, and Cannabi Growth hit all-time record highs even as the TSX was down a little bit by 34 points. That's the latest from here. We'll send it back to the studio. All right. Thank you very much. So were you into STEM, Mike? Pardon me? Were you into the STEM science, all the sciences and that? Uh, me personally? Yeah. No, because I'm in broadcasting. <laughs> I focus more on uh, literature and things that didn't have See, to do with math, ironically. I did all those things in <laughs> high school, and this is what it got me. But uh, Stella is learning about STEM right now.